Uh, is QB of the day for a bull trade? Look, it certainly might be. Um, it did break that sort of uh, medium to longer term uptrend line, but it's also perhaps breaking this uh, short term downtrend line. I'd really like to see it up at the highs of the day. Um, and in, in which case, you know, it's a lot more attractive. Uh, but it does look pretty good to me for a move back towards 1280. Um, yeah, look, I'd say, uh, I'd say that looks pretty good. Um, it's holding support, breaking the sort of short-term downtrend line. Like I said, I, I want to see, want to see it more towards the highs of the day, but it is, um, it is looking fairly attractive to me. So yeah, breaking the downtrend line, it did break the longer-term uptrend line earlier, but it hasn't really set, uh, lower peaks and troughs. In fact, the last peak was higher than the previous peak. And this trough is in line with the previous trough. So you could say still on an uptrend, maybe showing signs of forming some sideways movement because, you know, it's set a trough in line with the previous trough. Uh, but base case would be for a bit of a rise and the stochastic crossing over at the bottom of the range to turn a point higher. QBE and the insurance stocks in general could potentially benefit from the lift in interest rates. They get a whole lot of uh, premiums ahead of time. Um, insurance premiums ahead of time, and they can't really go and take risky investments with those, but they can put them in things like government bonds uh, and achieve, or you know, cash deposits and achieve interest on them. And at higher levels of interest rates, the profitability of these businesses, these insurance companies, does go up um, because they're earning, you know, a return on all those premiums that they collect. Um, now, last week I did demonstrate the buy right strategy. I actually got asked to provide a, uh, another example of that. So let's run through a potential buy right strategy on QBE. Bring up the option to calculate it quickly. So let's say we want to buy a bunch of QBE shares by the underlying stock. We'll pop in 40,000 of them. And then we'll sell now we'll have a look at where we saw our res resistance. We saw it up around twelve eighty so one option would be to sell just below that level in the hopes that we get exercised. Well, the other option would be to sell just above that level in the hopes we don't get exercised. so let's price it up as if we sold just below in the hope that we did get exercised. So if we sell 30 contracts because we've got uh, 3,000 shares, 100 options per contract, that's 3,000 options. And we're selling at 1276, 1276, which is right here for the July expiry. So if it gets to this level or above on the uh, 21st of July, We'll be selling our QBE stock for twelve dollars seventy six. Let's bring up the calculator. That means that we're going to get twelve seventy six times three thousand shares. It means we're going to get thirty eight thousand two hundred dollars. Uh, now we're paying thirty seven thousand one hundred forty for those shares, and we're receiving a credit of one thousand one hundred ten dollars. So to enter, we're paying $36,030. So if it does get to that level or above, uh, at the 21st of July, we're going to make a profit of 2250 Now, if it doesn't get to that level, we'll be buying uh, QBE shares. Now, we're going to pay $12.38 for those QBE shares, but we're also going to receive a $0.37 cent credit. So essentially, we're buying the QBE shares for $12.01, which is the $12.38 minus the $0.37 cents credit. We're going to be buying the QBE shares for $12.01. So I'll put a green line in for buy, or maybe a bit brighter green perhaps. Uh, and I'm going to say twelve oh one. So if you're looking to buy QBE shares or you're looking to go long on QBE, essentially by doing this strategy, you're buying it for this price. And if it gets to this level or higher, 
you're making $2,250. So we're buying the shares for cheaper than we can today. Uh, and yeah, we're basically taking a view that it's going to rise and hopefully finish around these levels, maybe slightly above or slightly below. Uh, our loss on expiry will be if the share price is below 1201. Uh, which is essentially the price that we're paying for those QBE shares when you factor in the credit that we receive. Um, so there's another example of the buy right strategy. So thanks for that question, and um, I'll split that out and send that video to you later. Um, so yeah, could be a great day to do a bull trade on QBE, Lillian. I do quite like it. I think it is a stock that could benefit from the high interest rates and um, one to keep in mind.